Sơ mình chơi những cái trò. The president, please be seated. Mesdames et messieurs, veuillez vous asseoir. Mr. President, the chamber is now back in session. Le président, nous reprenons l'audience. Before I hand the floor to Judge Cartwright, avant de redonner la parole à Madame la juge Cartwright, the chamber would like to announce an information to the parties and the public. Annoncer au public et aux parties that the Scheduling of hearing the testimony of witness K W zero eight, which was planned to be conducted this afternoon, was delayed to a later date. Et reporté à une date ultérieure. The reason is that during the proceedings on the fact of the implementation of the CPK policy at S21, the parties involved in the discussion took a lot of time. So the scheduling of time was shifted greatly. Par conséquent, ceci a eu des répercussions importantes sur le calendrier. Therefore, the hearing of the testimony nous entendrons le témoignage de KW08 ne sera pas conduite en temps. Et quand le fait relatif à cette témoignage arrive, alors la chambre lorsque le moment would call the witness relatif à the operations at June 8, et bien nous entendrons ce témoin et la date for testimony of this witness will be informed to the parties at a later date in the hearing scheduled for that fact. I also would like to inform the victims and witness support units to facilitate and arrange for the witness KW08 to return to the residence. Pour ramener now le the floor KW08 is given to Judge Carrice to domicile. continue her questioning relating to the armed conflict. Pour les yes, sur thank le you, conflict. Mr. President. Madame la juge Carfra, je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. You, I have been asking you what you knew of armed conflict during the period uh, 17 April 1975 until 31 December 1977. Since hearing the testimony of Nayan Chanda, have you recalled any other details of the conflict and who gave you this information or how did you learn of it? The accused, Your Honor, the testimony of the expert Nayan Chanda, la déposition de l'expert hein, Monsieur Nayan Chanda, I would regard it as beyond my knowledge or understanding. I don't say it is a fabricated information, but it was what I was not known. I can't recall that my superior, after leaving S21, initially it was based somewhere, 
but later on it was based in Nha Lương. And my communication with him on the telephone was roughly once per month. So, after the, my departure from my superior, I thought there were matters that need to be prepared on their side. And the information that was allowed to that I was allowed to know from my superior was about the information at the Santuj Mountain to the east of Mondulkiri and then the, the Libri Bay line that was told by Uncle Noon and about the land conflict, I was told on that by Son Sen. Uncle Noon told me directly when he called me for work assignment. As for Son Sen, from what I can recall, he told during the meeting with other uh, division members, there were more than 10 of us at the time. d'une réunion avec les commandants de division, il y en avait plus de 10, 10 d'entre nous Thank you. At S21, was there a radio that you or the staff would listen to from time to time? Que vous écoutiez vous-même, vous-même ou des membres de votre personnel, de temps à autre? The accused, Your Honor. Yes, there was a radio. There were radios, but I don't know who else had a radio. But I myself, I had a radio. It was a 14-band radio. The thing is, I did not have time to listen to my own radio. Le problème, c'est que je n'avais pas le temps d'écouter la radio. That was the reality. Ça c'était la réalité. So, are you saying that you did not hear any reports of conflict with Vietnam uh, on your radio? The accused. It's been so many years already from what I can recall. I could say I did not hear about the armed conflict broadcasting on the radio before the 6th of January. This is my recollection, not before the 6th of January 1978. Prior to that date, did you know about Question. the attempts in May 1975 by Democratic Kampuchean forces to free disputed islands from the control of the Vietnamese? The accused. There had been a rumor Il y avait about this or about a similar event regarding the American uh, ship. So I was not really sure on that. The magic case ship. So you heard rumors uh, or a rumor about uh, disputed islands and or about the Mayaguayas ship. Is that correct? The accused. That is correct, Your Honor. I heard the rumor, but it was a mix up. I am not sure about the Pulauai Island or about the Mayaguez ship. So you are not sure about the Pulauai Island, which was attacked by the Vietnamese in June of 1975. You are not sure if you heard about that at the time or shortly after that. The accused, Your Honor, in June 1975, I've arrived in Phnom Penh on the 20th. So in June, I was in a study session. 
J'ai participé And à they knew, une séance uh, d'études. Et ce n'est probablement pas. Did you have access to a radio at that time when you were attending study sessions? The accused, the accused, during the study session at night, we discussed in group of the lessons we learned during the day, so we did not have time to listen to the radio. And at that time, I did not bring the radio from homeland. And did you hear any mention of the dispute during the study sessions? The accused, I cannot recall, but it seems that nobody talked about any conflict. In your interview of the 5th of May 2008 with the co-investigating judges, D72, ERN English, 00204, 284 and Khmer 0018 and French 0018618618 You recalled being instructed about the political differences with Vietnam in political education sessions. Did that instruction include reference to the border disputes with Vietnam or with Thailand? The accused, the political study session and the conflict of Vietnam and Cambodia, the conflict was acquired a long time since the, since the negotiation in 73. When Vietnam wanted the Cambodia to negotiate, Vietnam, Vietnam would benefit financially from America in, uh, in the amount of $200 million. Political, politically, Cambodia is a party which is subordinate to the Vietnamese Labour Party. So that was what I learned through the political study session. But that was unofficially outside my study session. And the organization of the cooperative is in order to stop the Vietnamese to encroach further into the Cambodian territory. That's what I learned. Avant de l'avancée des Vietnamiens dans le territoire cambodgien. Et en 1973, les Vietnamiens à organiser un retour des personnes de chose souche vietnamienne dans leur pays. C'est ce que j'ai appris plus tard. After, a little bit after the 17th April, I collected a book April, about the col from colonization to communism alors, at the office of the Lunar Republic uh, building. It was written by a French author, and the reasons mentioned in the book is believable. So that I think the 
Cambodian Communist Party would not agree to the Indo-Chinese Federation policy, and I believed in the theory of that book. And when I came to reside near the railway station, I saw Le Yun and Pol Pot or the people to receive him. I saw him, but we did not know on what topics they would negotiate or discuss. And regarding the armed conflict, I did not really know much about it. I thought I knew clearly about the politics about the policy that was presented regarding the matter of the Indo-Chinese Federation. However, on another matter that I remember, which on the 15th of August 1977, Sun Sen left me and he did not come to see me. Only Uncle Noon came to uh, see me. Me voir. My superior went to Nhat Lương, and I didn't know what his plan was at Nhat Lương. Once in a while, he called me on a, a, a radio. À autre, il à la radio. That's what I can recall. Ce dont je peux me and for the armed conflict, how it happened. I could only rely on the list of the documents at S21. It means those combatants who were sent to S21 could be seen in the S21 document. What I can clearly recall and remember was on my work. Et ce que j'ai pu apprendre était basé sur mon travail. And I can recall also the time when the Vietnamese prisoners, the voice was taped for the radio broadcast. Et bien du fait que that is with the instruction. Leur voix était enregistrée pour être diffusée. And I can clearly recall that. Telles étaient les instructions et ça. If there are any points that I miss, you can ask me further. I'm ready to respond to your question frankly. Merci. Mais c'est tout ce dont je peux me souvenir. Uh, Thank you. In your interview, interview with the co-investigating judges of the 28th of March 2008, you said uh, at uh, the English reference 00177587, since the beginning of the war and until 1979, I saw Vietnamese war prisoners coming. By the phrase, since the beginning of the war, do you mean from the 17th of April 1975 or some other date? The accused, Your Honor, Madame la Juge, the date that I remember clearly that there was armed conflict was after the 6th of January. Before the 6th of January, I had heard also that the Vietnamese troops encroached uh, deeply inside the Cambodia territory, but on the 6th of January, Pol Pot called us to attend a study session and that uh, we learned uh, that there was a victory and that the Vietnamese people, uh, prisoners of war, were sent to S21 and their confession were taped and broadcast. So when I mentioned about since the beginning of the war, I mentioned to uh, after the date after the 6th of January. And I believe that there was such a broadcast. <coughs> In the same uh, interview, you say further on that there were also civilians, Vietnamese civilians, 
but they were arrested on the front line when military operations were carried out. Indeed, there were hardly any Vietnamese immigrants in Cambodia after 17 April 1975. And you also say, after 17 April 1975, most of the Vietnamese who remained in Cambodia were eliminated. There were very few left. However, I remember seeing S-21 lists carrying the names of Vietnamese who were still living in Cambodia. My question to you is this. From the 17th of April 1975 until the 6th of January 1978, when you say you first knew about what you call the war, were you aware of the policy of elimination of Vietnamese from Cambodian territory? I did not receive this information. However, in 1973, there was an event. Uh, during the study session, every member of the party was informed that tous les membres du parti présent ont été informés. Le Yun needed the Vietnamese immigrants to be uh, taken back to the southern part of Vietnam for the election. So the insight of the politics, whether all the Vietnamese had to be eliminated or the policy to eradicate uh, the Vietnamese the race uh, was not quite familiar or informed, but the, the, the Vietnamese people who remained in Cambodia after 1975 were those who arrested and pursued as enemies like the other Chinese uh, immigrants and other ordinary Cambodian people. You heard Nayan Chanda Question. being asked about a publication On a posé des of the Department of Press and Information, and information of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Affairs published in September of 1978 and called The Black Paper. Are you familiar with that publication? Est-ce que vous connaissez cette publication? The accused, Your Honor. Réponse. I had never seen that Je black vu paper ce livre noir. until 1983 that I saw a copy of the où book. Vu un exemplaire. And uh, the book that published by uh, uh, at that time, I did not see it. Uh, I only saw it uh, in some load in 1983. Thank you. In that paper, there were allegations that the Vietnamese attacked Democratic Kampuchea immediately after the Khmer Rouge liberated Phnom Penh on 17 April 1975. Were you aware at the time that the government, the Democratic Kampuchean government, believed that the Vietnamese had attacked Cambodia 
as soon as Le Cambodge. the democratic Kampuchean government or democratic Kampuchean uh, Khmer Rouge troops had liberated Dès Phnom la Penh. De Phnom Penh par les troupes Khmer Rouge. The accused réponse. The 17th of April 1975, uh, Phnom Penh was liberated. The southern part of Vietnam was uh, liberated uh, on the 30th of April, the same year, just 13 days after the liberation of Phnom Penh. So personally, I I don't believe that the Vietnamese uh, managed to uh, split their troops to invade, attack uh, Cambodia. I don't believe. Thank you. Also in that paper was the allegation that Vietnam sent spies to Cambodia in 1976. Were you aware of any spies in Cambodia de la in that year? Au Cambodge, cette année? The accused. Réponse. I think it may be possible and that the spies could even be sent to S21 because uh, uh, civilians, Cambodian civilians were arrested and sent to S21. So when they were arrested, those people were usually regarded as spies and sent to S21 to be interrogated. So I can presume that it would be the, ca the case. Donc, uh, je crois que oui. And uh, further Question. in that black paper, there were Toujours allegations noir, of attempted assassinations of democratic Kampuchean leaders in 1975 and 1976. Did you know of those attempted assassinations at the time? The accused. I don't know. However, the documents at S21 when it mentioned about the attempted assassination, it was that the Division 310 of Comrade Un that talked about the attempted assassination of the Secretary of the Party. Are the surviving documents, documents including the 30th of March 1976 document, mentioned about Pol Pot who were prepared and that uh, he would not send Uncle Noon or kill, he would not go himself, instead he would Paul send Kiel Sampon or Uncle Noon to attend any Nguyen event in on behalf of him. So the document from Division 310 and other decision of the of Pol Pot that he would not uh, meet uh, uh, the Vietnamese uh, counterpart. Instead, he sent a Kiel Sung Pon or Nguyen Chi. I think uh, this document proved it. And you were aware of that document at the time. Is that correct? The accused. At that time, Réponse. the document I knew was the confession of Comrade Nguyen from Division 310. Regarding document on the 30th of March 1976, I only received it from the co-investigating judges recently. I don't remember when, but recently. Thank you. In his testimony, 
Nayan Chanda spoke of a struggle for power in 1976, won by Pol Pot after purges in September, and of the decision that was made to find a permanent solution to the dispute with Vietnam and to exterminate Vietnamese in Cambodia. And I refer to this reference, the English ERN is 0019222. Seven one in the book, Brother Enemy. Was any such policy concerning finding a permanent solution to the dispute with Vietnam and the extermination of Vietnamese in Cambodia communicated to you at that time? The accused. Réponse. The document I received from the superiors, I did not receive the black paper, neither did I receive this kind of document. I only sent a document to the superior, the confessions of S21. I only received uh, the revolutionary flag magazine and the revolutionary youth magazines, the statute of the CPK, and uh, regarding the actual documents concerning the dispute between Vietnam and uh, Cambodia, I did not not uh, receive such documents, frankly. I understand that you did not have access to the black paper or to Nayan Chanda's book. However, I am asking if you were told of or read about the decision to find a permanent solution to the dispute with Vietnam and to exterminate the Vietnamese in Cambodia around 1976. The accused. The notion uh, of Nayan Chanda I just heard uh, here at the court in the first place. I would like to also tell you that uh, the book written by Nayan Chanda was presented to me only when he came here. Did you know of that policy in 1976? The accused. Réponse. Could you please uh, re repeat what kind of policy you were mentioning about? This was Question. the policy to find a permanent solution to the dispute with Vietnam and Vietnam to exterminate Vietnamese in Cambodia. The accused. Réponse. I don't know anything about it, Je and I don't recall anyone has told me anything about it. Question. 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 and you have referred to them uh, in uh, a number of uh, interviews, but I will refer in particular to one reference. The English uh, ERN is 00218923. Eight nine seven eight. 
Khmer 0028975 to 0021895 Seven six and French zero two three nine 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 eight to zero two three nine 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 nine. That was a list of sixty six members of the Democratic Campuchia military who were executed over three days, 22, 26, and 29 March 1976. Were they interrogated at S21? the accused. Réponse. I was surprised about the list. Je suis étonné de ces listes. When I was the chairman of S21, je I did not see any Vietnamese people coming in large scale. Je vu but aucun there was a list given to me for comments on the number of 66 people who were the Vietnamese fishermen. List qui les noms de 66 and I suspect that it was the list of 64. I you here because there's a misunderstanding. Um, I am referring to a list of Cambodian soldiers who arrived at S21, and that is the list of those soldiers who were executed on the 22nd, 26th, and 29th of 1976. And I am asking you, were those Cambodian soldiers interrogated at S21? If you talk about the former Lonnol soldiers, they, there may be some of them left at the psychiatric hospital in Dark Mau. And when Nat left, he ordered Ho to smash them to finish the work. They were not interrogated. Majority of the soldiers were not interrogated. So, did you know if any of that list of 66 members of the Democratic Campuchian military uh, had been fighting the Vietnamese? Excuse my apology. I am not sure on this. Can you clarify further on your question? The 66 soldiers, were they the Lunar soldiers or the Khmer Rouge soldiers? In my response, I refer to the Lunar soldier. So I am not sure. Can you verify on that? Thank you. It's not for me to answer that question, but they are listed uh, as um, Prisoners smashed at S21, Tool Sling, and they were arrested in March of 1976. Can I assume that they were more likely to be soldiers of the Democratic Campuchian forces than Lon Nol at that stage? Your Honor, I cannot explain uh, to you because uh, I have not seen that list yet. Well, you said in your interview with the military tribunal D42 bar 1 Bar, bar one three, bar 13, E R N 
number 00197753 and 00197753. In relation to that list, en rapport avec cette liste, that these were military officers and soldiers captured in Phnom Penh and Sector 25. You saw just one's face, Ban Uk Nilpek, who is number 55 on that list and described as a major. And you went on to say, I did not see, did not actually see their faces, but I wish to accept that they were victims of CPK crimes against humanity after 17 April 1975. Does that refresh your memory? If you talk about the Lieutenant Colonel Nelpek, si vous parlez du Bang Colonel Nelpek, that was the exact name, Bang Uy Nelpek. Bang Uy Nelpek, c'est son nom exact. This per this person was the uncle of Mianat. Cette personne était l'oncle de Mianat. Who was detained at the PJ prison? Nat took me to his room once, and that was the only person I saw. So this soldier was not the soldier of the Communist Party of Kampuchea. They were gathered and rounded up from Sector 25 in order to be smashed, and they were not interrogated. I was not sure about this person, whether that person was interrogated or not. This is my recollection. Thank you. Now, moving on to Vietnamese prisoners, in the agreed facts Dans la, at um, les faits que vous ne pas, number 108, you do not dispute vous ne that the largest cause, group of foreigners detained was Vietnamese de and that the list records at least 400 Vietnamese, of which approximately 150 were recorded as prisoners of war, and at least 100 were clearly civilians. Is is there anything you want to add to your uh, statement that you do not dispute those facts? The accused. Your Honor, I do not have any objection, and it is still an agreed fact. So, can you can you tell me when you Question. first received Vietnamese prisoners of war into S21? The accused, Your Honor, I cannot recall it, but there were a few before the 6th of January 1978, only at a later time, then there were quite a number of them. Thank you. Do you have any objection? And further, you do not dispute in paragraph 108B that the first recorded arrest of someone described as Vietnamese 
was on 7 February 1976. Does that also, uh, do you also uh, have no further comment to make on that statement? The accused, Your Honor. Réponse. Whatever the facts that I agreed, I would agree to it. So, si if the list are the genuine list of S21, then I would pas. accept it. And I cannot provide any further explanation to the list since I cannot recall it. Que ce qui se trouve sur la liste, car je ne me souviens pas de ces Thank you. Événements. There were occasions when Vietnamese were transported from the battlefield by S-21 personnel. Was this before the 6th of January 1978? Did that happen on any occasion prior to that date? The accused. I cannot Réponse. recall regarding this matter. Je ne me I pas. think, yes, there were transportation, but oui. I am not sure either it's mais before or after that date. Si plus si avant ou après cette date. When that occurred, that is, the transport of Vietnamese Quand prisoners of war from the battlefield to S21, did you order S21 personnel to undertake that duty? The accused, Your Honor, the S21 Réponse. staff who could do it only with my order, that is number one. If Première they chose, went to the countryside, then they, they need to have a, a letter of authorization. Une lettre de ma part. Thank you. Question. So Merci. you would know the area in which Donc, they were captured so that you could give the order to transport them to S21. Is that correct? S21. Exact. The accused. That is correct, Réponse. Your Honor. Oui, exact. Can you think back and tell Question. us of any uh, areas to which you sent S21 personnel to transport Vietnamese prisoners of war? The accused, Réponse. I cannot recall. There are two roads. One is route National Road Number One, Phnom Penh, Nha Luong, and Prey Veng to Swai Rieng. And another road is Road Number Seven, from Phnom Penh to Skun to Kampung Cham, and crossing to Bonyi Krait. So I was not sure which road it was uh, taken. What I can recall is that the special permit for road travel, how many were used for the trips to go to the Vietnamese border, or how many were used to go to Batambong? Thank you. In a statement made by you during the investigation by the military court on the 4th of June 1999, ERN uh, English 0018429 to 0018489. Three two à 32. Khmer zero Donc, Khmer. zero eight nine six seven three to zero zero eight nine zero zero six seven eight and there appears to be no French translation. You speak of Dans ce document, the Vietnamese soldiers 
whose responses were recorded on audio tapes and broadcast, and photographs were taken to show the world that they were spit smashed. And you go on to say this. The Vietnamese were numerous. I can't remember them all. Further explanation on the Vietnamese soldiers who were held at S-21. They were combat soldiers captured on the battlefield on Kampuchean territory in the south during 1977 and 1978. So from that statement, it appears that there were Vietnam Vietnamese soldiers brought to S-21 during 1977 and, of course, later, during 1978. Is that correct? The accused. The content of what you just read is still... It's still to show the events that took place in 78, although I am not clear. However, the list at S21 would shed light, a better light than my statement at the military court from 77 until when, when the Vietnamese soldiers were captured and what happened in 78, then the S21 document would shed a better light than my statement. Yes, thank you. Mr. President, is this a convenient time to adjourn? The President, Le President. thank you, Judge Cartwright. Merci, Madame la Juge Cartwright. The Chamber will adjourn for today's hearing pour and will resume tomorrow morning matin from 9 a.m. à 9 heures. Security officer take the accused back to the detention facility and bring him back before 9 a.m. tomorrow. And also, I would like to inform the parties to participate in the hearing tomorrow morning before 9 a.m.